And that's always the hard thing about talking about coal. But when, you have to, in my mind, you have to go beyond the individual and look at the larger system here and look at the larger consequences of this and go beyond, you know, the, the, what's on the dinner table for one particular coal miner and think about the system and the planet and, and the whole uh, uh, one-note economy that, that coal encourages, you know, that there, it's this or nothing else and the lack of diversity and the lack of a future that is really the most upsetting thing. And the other thing that's happening that's really vital to understand is that up until very recently, there was no kind of real competition for coal. I mean, yes, there was natural gas. Yes, there was nuclear power. But those were all sort of within the same kind of industry debate. But right now what's happening is there's this whole rise out of Silicon Valley of this whole renewable power stuff. Billions of dollars flow, flowing into this, right? And lots of creative energy, the whole kind of creative entrepreneurial mindset that created the internet and computers is now focused on energy because we know that we're going to have to reinvent the entire energy infrastructure not of America but of the world in the next 30 or 40 years and that's multi-billion dollar projects and the people who win this game who figure this out first are going to get really rich so there's incredible amounts of money flowing into this which is a powerful force against coal because there's going to be cheaper solar, cheaper geothermal, cheaper everything that is going to change the dynamic of the power industry in a very big way. And that, I think, is a real fundamental challenge for coal beyond the specific technology of how do you capture and store this stuff, which is an, its own incredible ball of complexity in itself. The, the big story here is that the end game has begun for coal. There's no, there's no Nobody disputes that. We're not going to be burning coal in 2100. There's going to be other ways of getting energy. The question is how fast that end game plays out. Does it play out in the next couple of decades? Does it play out in the next 50 years? Does it play out in 10 years? You know, I don't know. No one knows.